Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up Manchester United in Football Manager 2021. Diving into signings, transfers, tactics, and of course we're going to be simming a season and seeing if we can win that goddamn treble. Anyway, let's get this party started. So first and foremost, when you come to a new team in Football Manager, you've got to check out the squad and then dive straight into the tactics. First up for Manchester United, there's a lot of quality in the squad right now. Uh, standout players, of course, Paul Pogba on Football Manager is disgraceful. You're looking at Bruno Fernandes to lead the line in central midfield as well. And a cracking front three of Mason Greenwood, potentially paired with Marcus Rashford and... Anthony Martial. So taking into consideration the strength of the side, I think there's a lot of good central midfielders in there. We're looking at Donny van der Beek as well, uh, Nemanja Matic, Fred, Scott McTominay. So I'm thinking a three-man midfield. What I want to kind of replicate is maybe Liverpool's front three, nice and narrow, a base of midfield to control the tempo, attacking wing-backs and a solid defence. So in terms of the Gagan pressing style, that's the kind of one I like to go with uh, in Football Manager. We're going to pick that one and we're going to go for the 4-3-3. We're slightly going to change the roles in midfield. Uh, we're going to bring in at Matt Zala in that central area on support and everything else we're going to pretty much leave as it is. Uh, in terms of our chance creation, we're probably going to leave that how it is kind of right now. Um, you know, we'll tweak it in game, we'll move around and putting into, you know, whip crosses, float crosses, low crosses, dependent on the striker on the pitch. Cavani, I'd recommend doing floated crosses or whip crosses. Anthony Martial, low crosses. Running the defense is a good tactic as well. Express yourself and looking to break teams down. But we're keeping it quite simple on this version of Football Manager. Um, of course, one big thing that we want to do, though, is force our opponents on the outside. That is a classic Gagan pressing tactical thing. So just looking at the squad and who we've got in the team, let's pick a first 11. So first up, we've got David De Gea in goal. Aaron Wan-Bissaka at right back um, in terms of the centre-halves. Probably go with Harry Maguire and uh, Eric Bay. Then looking at left back, Alex Tellis. Of course, a new fantastic signer for Manchester United. Um, the DM, we probably need to get a DM, uh, bring a DM. The Matsala is going to be Bruno. Fernandez, Paul Pogba's going to come into box to box, and our front three from the start uh, will be Greenwood, Marcus Rashford, and of course Anthony Martial through the middle, potentially looking to get a right winger um, and a centre back in through the door in the transfer window. So this is our star team that we've kind of set out. Um, you know, Marcus Rashford plays that role really well inside forward. Martial's a fantastic. Uh, player through the middle potentially could change his role um, but it looks good I think this is a good team good setup for Manchester United in terms of transfers so players that we're looking to bring in of course the centre-back there's a few good centre-backs in European football right now and um, that are kind of available for transfer uh, first and foremost, I think we've got to talk about Skriniar from Internazionale. Um, probably the best player you can get on FM for Manchester United centre half. His stats are ridiculous. Uh, you're looking at heading, marking, tackling, uh, positioning, and all of his mental stats in terms of you know the aggression down to decisions. Very, very good. Strong as well, something that you want in the Premier League. Uh, decent jump reach. So he's a player that I will be looking to bring in. A perfectionist as well. That's a great personality tra trait for football manager. Other centre backs that you could look to bring, bring in if you wanted to save a bit of cash. Um, for Manchester United, Jose Jimenez, of course, um, is another one, but probably going to be quite expensive. Minimum release um, isn't even there. Where's his minimum release? The minimum release is 110 million. So that is quite expensive for a centre half, but will provide real good quality. Uh, a bit of a curveball that I want to look at um, is from Fiorentina. Uh, Malinkovic could be a good signing. I think you can get him relatively cheap on the game around uh, 20, 26, 27 million. He's got potential, 22 years old, got some good stats. Uh, you know, the 15 heading, 15 marking, 15 tackling. Looks like he will improve in the game. It could be a player that you could bring on the relative cheap. In terms of defensive midfielders that you should be looking at for Manchester United, let's take a look at some DMs right now. Uh, there's one guy that I've got in my mind. Um, Fabian Ruiz. Fabian Ruiz has got some fantastic stats. Again, from a defensive midfielder, you're thinking his, uh, his passing, his first touch is very, very good. Teamwork is good as well. Balance is decent. Will be perfect for defensive midfield in our 4-3-3 that we're looking at right now. Uh, other DMs that you could look at, Ruben Neves, obviously, he's the, the Premier League ready uh, type player. I'll just upgrade this package quickly. It's something that you guys probably want to do um, when you're a big team, just change your recruitment package. It gives, first and foremost, more players. Uh, in a sense and it also you know you, you've got that level of you, you can see more around the world so let's just take a look at other options in that position um fabian ruiz probably the one brozovic could be quite decent uh good at tackling 
physical, maybe not exactly what we want. We're looking for a deep line playmaker, um, so maybe rules him out. Declan Rice could be a good option, um, but again, more of a destructive DM than what we want. We want a bit of a ball player, a guy that's going to playmake for us. So I think Fabian is the guy, uh, 100%. In terms of right wingers, there's one guy on my mind. There's one guy on all of your minds in the chat. Get it in the chat right now. Who should we sign at right midfield? It's simple, I think, for me. Um... There's a young lad at Borussia Dortmund called Jaden Sancho. Uh, not sure if you've heard of him before, but could play this role on the right wing for us. Dribbling, sensational first touch, sensational passing, really good vision, really good. Pacey, quick. Jaden Sancho is our number one target. Ahead of defensive midfield, ahead of centre-back, Jaden Sancho is the guy that we want to bring in in that position. Uh, quite like what Serge Gnabry is doing on Foot Manager as well. His stats have, have improved um, to a certain point. Uh, other players you could look at from that right-hand side. You know, a bit of a bargain option. If you want to save your cash, uh, go to Villarreal and sign Samuel Chiquese. A um, little bit different, of course, a left footer. Uh, you know, he's going to be cutting in onto that left foot versus Jaden Sancho. He's going to be going natural wide onto the outside. So it is an option for sure. Um, but they're the sort of targets. Uh, let's now jump through the transfer window and you can see who we've brought in. So just looking at transfer budgets for Manchester United, you've got £52 million to spend uh, plus 300 grand a week in terms of available wage budget. But if you're looking at the squad for Manchester United, one thing I like to do at the start of games is check in where your wage is being spent and looking if you can move those players on. So you're thinking the likes of Juan Mata's 135 grand a week, Nemanja Matic 120, Dean Henderson's on 120. Uh, you've got Fred, Phil Jones, uh, scrolling further down the list, Jesse Lingard's on 75 grand a week, Sergio Romero. Uh, there's quite a lot of movement you can do in terms of selling players and buying players and bringing in transfer fees. Um, you know, there's a few players that you could go out that can, you know, you put that cash back into your budget. So well worth, if you are Manchester United manager, getting a few of these squad players that are on quite a lot of uh, wage and try and sell them. Simple as that. So we fast forwarded to the end of the transfer window and we got our man Jaden Sancho joining Manchester United for a whopping 95 million. That was 70 million up front and 25 million over the next two years. A great signing. And I think he's going to be do the absolute business for this United team. You think he can play left, can play right. His stats are ridiculous for his age. The amount of 16s and 15s he's got, disgusting. Agility's great, dribbling's great. It's going to cause a lot of problems. And I'd really like that trait as well. Places shots. It's a good one. Um, I think you need to retrain players in their finishing in terms of either round the keeper, play shots, or shoots with power. Sancho's got one absolutely on point for our right-hand side. In terms of the next player we brought in, we brought in Fabian Ruiz from Napoli. Uh, Fabian Ruiz cost us 42 million flat. Uh, he's on around 100 grand a week, which is pretty decent, and I think he'll do the business. I think, again, uh, looking at his stats, world-class midfielder as well, um, as you can see in the old information. Uh, he'll be a fantastic player, anchoring midfield with Fernandez and Pogba, uh, given more slightly freer roles uh, ahead of him. Uh, and unfortunately, the last little bit of news we've got to give you is that Skriniar didn't join Manchester United. We had the ag deal agreed, but Inter Milan didn't want to wait for the money, and unfortunately, we're trying to delay it to make the money by selling players. Uh, so Victor Lindelof is going to come in at the starting centre-back. I just was looking at Eric Bay. One of the big things with Eric Bay you've got to notice uh, is he is susceptible to injuries, uh, which is a big, big problem. Might have a problem with injuries. So we're going to throw Lindelof in there and then reinforce in January. You know, we could look at a few players in that situation, but Skriniar, definitely our number one choice. But anyway, guys, we're going to sim up till January and then we're going to do some more moves in the January transfer window. So we are back December the 30th, currently sitting top of the Premier League, which is pretty decent. Also looking at the uh, what happened in the Champions League, through to the Champions League, which is nice, are playing Atalanta in the Champions League. That should be a pretty nice tie. Uh, just looking at the uh, the stats for the players so far, uh, we might have to make a change with our central striker. Anthony Martial just not doing it up front. Six goals in nine starts with uh, Edison Cavani looking like the bit of a bagsman potentially we could throw mason greenwood up front got great potential on football manager but let's uh let's chuck cavani up front through the middle also just looking from a tactical perspective uh, maybe changing Jaden sancho's role as well six goals and six assists isn't quite good enough so let's flip that to um a winger attack potentially will allow Bruno Fernandes to be a little bit more creative as well. Um, so far scored five goals. I think we can get better output out of him for sure. But I still think the team lacks a world-class centre-back. So we're going to try and buy one in January. Uh, we've got around £23 million to spend. So let's see what we can do. In terms of top centre-backs, again, Skriniar is probably our number one shot. 
uh, number one selection of someone that we want to bring in. Um, you've also got the likes of David Alaba, whose contract expires at the end of the first season. Could be fantastic at left fullback or at centre back. So there's two players that we're looking at there. Uh, Nicholas Schuler, someone we looked at previously that looked okay. Uh, Mateus. Delit would be absolutely fantastic. But another player I quickly want to look at is Upa Meccano. Big, big fan of him in real life. Would love United to sign him. Uh, but mentally, maybe not quite there with Skrinja. So let's go back to Inter Milan. Uh, maybe do the sneaky. So on the new foot manager, of course, you can ask the agent about availability. Um, and he's saying that it's going to be costing us around 49 to 63 million to make the deal possible. Now let's go and see if we can get it done by the end of Jan. So here we are, end of Jan, and we got our man Skriniar joined from Inter Milan for around 40 million plus 24 million over the next two years. Again, we had to make the transfer uh, come through by selling Phil Jones. Phil Jones joined Newcastle for about 11 million quid, so not a bad deal. Sold Phil Jones, brought in Skriniar. I think that kind of finishes the team in terms of the top quality uh, through the squad. You've got a number of really good players in the team now. Uh, so it's all for the title challenge. Uh, still sitting first in the Premier League. Three points ahead of Liverpool. Uh, more goals is what we need, though, I think. Defensively, we're looking really good. Best defensive record in the league. Uh, but in terms of top goal scorers, Edison Cavani, 11. Need more goals. Let's see if we've done it. So, the end of the season, and as you can see, the historic treble has returned to Manchester United. The league title, beating Liverpool by a single point, then beating Liverpool 5-1 in the Champions League final and winning the FA Cup. What a goddamn season. Unbelievable. Let's dive into the Champions League final first up. 5-1. Cavani opened the scoring. Jadon Sancho, Martial. Thiago scored for Liverpool and then Cavani and Martial. This combination, this front three looking very, very deadly for Manchester United. And the story of the XG, an absolute battering. Uh, beating Liverpool in a big, big competition. I think in terms of if we uh, we jump into the squad and see how the, the players have performed. Uh, Cavani finished the season. As the top scorer of 23 goals in all comps. Martial had a very good end to the season. Scored some crucial goals um, in the Champions League final, of course, and in the running um, for United. You're also looking at Sancho. Direct goal, 30 direct goal involvements. That is a pretty decent season uh, for Manchester United's new number 11. Uh, and Marcus Rashford as well, scoring 16 goals and getting 10 assists. I think that was a pretty decent season all round. Uh, Fabian Ruiz is potentially the only question mark, getting an average rating of 6.88. Maybe the deep line playmaker role doesn't work on this version of Football Manager, but we have done it. We have won the treble. <sighs> That's what you want to see. You want to see the treble and a 5-1 win over Liverpool in the final. Absolutely fantastic. So there you have it, guys. How to set up Manchester United on Football Manager 2021. Go Gagan pressing 4-3-3. Sign Jadon Sancho, Fabian Ruiz and Skriniar and you might win the treble. I've been Statman Dave. Make sure, of course, to subscribe if you're new and like that goddamn video. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel? Thank you.